Hello, Hills Church family. Preacher Rick here. Well, needless to say, we are living in some most unusual days, aren't we? In fact, some of us cannot ever recall in our lifetimes a season quite like this. I'm obviously speaking about COVID-19, uh, commonly called the Corona virus. A lot of people who know little have been saying too much. As a leadership, we have tried to listen to the medical experts who are saying that in order to flatten the curve of the spread of this virus, we need to avoid large gatherings of people. And so the leadership of the Hills Church has made the decision this weekend, rather than uh, canceling our services, we are going to transition our services from our campuses to our homes. This Sunday, we will be providing a worship experience for you and your family, perhaps a friend or a neighbor, in your home. Uh, at 8.30, we will have an a cappella worship moment. At 10 and 11.30, we'll have an instrumental worship moment. Live worship, we'll have a communion moment. We would encourage you to be prepared by having some bread and some juice available. And live preaching. Uh, also, let me say that our campuses are going to be closed to gatherings, at least for the next week, and no women's classes, no student gatherings, no community groups meeting at our campuses. And let's be honest, it might be longer than that. We don't know how long it will be prudent not to gather together. So we are gonna to listen to our medical community. Now, some might say this is a fear reaction, but we would say, no, this is a response of love. The question right now is what is the most loving thing to do? And in order to bless our neighbor, in order to bless the medical profession and not overwhelm them, we want to join with the effort of others to diminish the spread of this virus by not meeting together in large numbers. Now, I don't believe God sent this virus. I believe it's the proof that we live in a broken world still groaning for its redemption. I do believe God is in control and God can use this moment Whenever times are dark, he has his church who are the light of the world. And we can step into this moment with our compassion, with our non-anxious presence, and with our generosity. In fact, I believe we're going to have opportunities for conversations in the days and weeks ahead that will give a witness to the hope that we have that is profound. The mission is not canceled. Uh, we exist to make and grow followers of Jesus, and we fully intend to do that in the days ahead as we adapt to the current realities. One thing we can all be doing is praying. Praying for our friends, praying for the medical community, praying for a cure to this virus, praying for opportunities to be a witness of hope and light. The scripture says, be anxious about nothing. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind. That's what we're gonna do. And so, I won't see you this Sunday, but you will see me, and it's going to be an awesome opportunity to be reminded our God is in control.